guys, I'm Pritika Manjani and welcome back to the number one channel for side hustlers. In this particular video, I'm going to share with you all the methods in which you can actually validate your side hustle idea that you have picked up. I can't stress enough on actually validating your idea before even getting to start creating it or investing any amount of money or time or energy in it. So if you're interested in knowing those methods, then keep on watching this video. So first up, if you are not clear on which side hustle to actually start in 2021 and how to pick your perfect side hustle idea i highly recommend you to watch these two videos that i will pop it on the screens for you guys to watch it and with that let's quickly begin with the first method which is actually uh, validating your idea into facebook groups what you can do is you can actually search for facebook uh, groups in the facebook search bar uh, about the keywords that you are looking for for example you're looking up for to start a youtube channel so you can actually look for a keyword like that in the facebook group and then the group in the group sections you can find uh, groups uh, wherein people are talking about how to start a YouTube channel and how one can create a YouTube channel and how one can reach that monetization bar and all of that so uh, you can actually join those groups and actually and interact with them in that particular group that hey I am so and so and trying to create a YouTube channel and uh, I'm planning to create content on this whole subjects so what is your idea and uh, what are your thoughts about all of that so uh, you can just start and start with an introductory message and then you can actually you know interact with, with people in the group and actually know what the insights are know from people who actually started a channel on that particular topic or people have actually started but actually have diversified into something else and all of that things you can know on uh, that particular uh, group uh, what apart from that you can also do is you can you can actually also ask for uh, what kind of services would they want to second up you can actually do a kind of market survey about what content topics people are interested in watching randomly making youtube videos will just land you nowhere and if you actually make uh, strategic videos and the content that actually people want to see will be more of help to you all so uh, that is what I recommend but you can do that in Facebook groups and what will happen is you will actually know what are the pain points of uh, your target audience or you can know what people are looking out to you can know what people are actually what are the pain points of your uh, target audience okay what you can do is you can actually create a base for your personal brand because initially what happens in YouTube is uh, till the time you are actually ranked in search till the time the algorithm picks up your YouTube video very less people are going to watch your video and posting in these Facebook groups and talking to them and interacting them and asking for feedback uh, that will also help you uh, create actually uh, give an idea again give given perspective on what all things you can do till now I have actually created this is my 69th video and till now I do that I ask him I ask in the Facebook groups that I have joined to actually uh, give me feedback and tell me what to work on more to actually uh, get my YouTube videos ranked in search uh, so I do that on a very regular basis and with that it also helps you create a base for your personal brand so these are the people who are initially going to watch your videos and this is the audience that you need to retain because this audience actually decided to watch you when you were actually growing so number one is the Facebook group method and the second one which I'm going to talk about is actually uh, a traditional method what you can do is you can create a feedback form uh, and just add some kind of like basic things that you want to ask in the Facebook group and uh, you can actually roll out this particular questionnaire in the Facebook group that you have joined and uh, you can actually uh, trade this and what you can do is you can actually trade in return of any kind of freebie or an ebook in return which can be of help to your target audience so in this method you can actually know what are the pain points you can know what are people looking for you can know uh, in what format people are looking for uh, if you are offering any kind of services you can actually have like a question wherein you can ask like in what format would you want my service you would do you want my service in kind of uh, in one-on-one -on -one method or do you want the service in like a group setting or do you want this particular service in a pre-recorded service so you can actually ask your target audience audience this and you can know uh, what are their preference what are their likes what are their interests what are their values and you can encash this opportunity in actually uh, getting into this Facebook Facebook groups but uh, it is small disclaimer guys these Facebook groups comes with rules and regulations and you just need to know that you should be abiding to the rules and regulation and you should not be you should not be as that kind of personality who is actually doing a lot of self-promotion or just you know throwing random things over here and there that follow me on YouTube 
YouTube, follow me on Instagram and all of that. Just be genuine and genuinely ask people feedback. And if you're genuine, people are going to go to your channel and are going to subscribe to your channel. You just don't need to tell them. This is also a very trustworthy method of actually validating your idea. Moving on to the third method, which is actually doing interviews or doing in discovery calls with your target audience. Once that you have actually a brief explanation of what your target audience is, that means you know what are the demographics and what are the psychographics of your target audience. It is important for you to actually go and interact with them. I would suggest actually do at least 10 uh, discovery calls or interviews with your target audience to actually know what product or service they are in need of or what are their pain point and in what format would they need it. Uh, you can actually do interviews and you can actually ask them questions uh, that would be uh, that would help you actually uh, develop products for them and, and you, at the end you can actually ask them if they would want to be in the wait list of that particular product or service that you are working on. Doing this discovery calls can actually help you gain customer insights and gain customer perspective of what their liking are and what are they wanting and what stage they are in uh, I did exactly the same I actually went up to 10 people and asked them about what their pain points are of starting a side hustle and even if they are thinking of starting a side hustle have they actually looked I went up to at least 10 people and asked them if they would want any kind of service which would help them to actually start a side hustle and many of them were actually on the fence of starting a side hustle but they were too confused of actually should they leave their job or uh, would they, uh, were they ready for this kind of decision and change in their life because trust me guys when you are actually trust starting a side hustle initially the amount of energy and the amount of time that you're putting up inside the hustle is too much so when you decide to actually get into it you should actually have like a foolproof validated plan that okay this, could, this is the right track that I am investing my time and energy in so uh, that this is this is the way which you can actually go and approach people and also what I did was when I actually interviewed them I actually recorded that thing and listened to it over and over again and tried to come out with themes uh, broad themes wherein uh, uh, what were the pain points so I came across this four to five themes and tried to actually create uh, a kind of module for them which can help them and try to create a module or a life course for them which can help them to actually overcome that pain points I actually did a live beta course on uh, starting a side hustle inside masterclass by K. Nine people were part of that and I actually life course were, had like four modules and, for, and I hosted a live course for them which was spread over four uh, Sundays and each in each Sunday I used to take a session for about one to two hours and I used to cover one module and uh, which brings me to the fourth method which is actually doing beta uh, courses or beta testing for your product or service. Once that you have actually done the initial market survey you have actually validated your or of service that you are going to offer now it is time to actually do the beta testing and seal the deal that okay this is a good thing to go on and I and this is a good uh, path that for me to follow I am going to share with you all a brief uh, method of how you can do beta testing for your particular uh, service the number one thing that you would want to do for your uh, beta testing is create a customer journey. Now customer journey is divided into three parts. So the first part is actually onboarding the client. Things that you would actually provide them when they actually decide to uh, enter in your program and uh, in this particular and you can give them a welcome kit in which you provide the information of how uh, the session is going to be and all the things that you would that they would need to actually uh, do the entire particular beta data testing. The next part of it is actually service delivery. Now this is very important because this is the main part and this is something that you would want to deliver. So uh, just be sure of what all things that you want to mention in this particular phase and uh, you actually need to write down like what all phases your particular customer would go under this particular service because this is the main thing and you and on based on this the entire everything is dependent. So you might want to be very much sure that you are actually providing enough value uh, for their time. Uh, the third part is actually debrief debriefing the client. Now you, once you have actually uh, onboarded a client, you have actually provided the service and third of all you would want to, the third part is actually the debriefing of the client. In this particular part, you would want to do three things. One is actually asking for a feedback of where you can improve on. The second thing is actually asking for testimonials and third things is if they would want to invest in the future offerings of your product or service. So this is the entire customer journey that you should 
should have keeping in mind uh, that you should have when you actually uh, do a beta course and once you do this it is it becomes a little bit easier in actually uh, delivering easier in delivering all of those things so uh, this should be very much clear and also if you communicate all of the entire customer journey that where they're coming from and where they're going at uh, that will also help them have like a clear expectation of what to expect in the uh, course the next step of this particular beta testing is uh, crafting your course outline now let's elaborate and get deep into the service delivery now you might want to create a course outline of on of getting into detail of what all things you would be offering now what i did was i created a session plan entire course and actually i divided my uh, course content into four modules uh, the first module that was of mindset for side hustlers in this particular module i just wanted to talk about the mindset how much importance a mindset plays in when they're actually starting on a side hustle journey the second module was that of uh, perfecting your day and it is important for a side hustler to have like a perfectly crafted day because they're actually juggling into several different hats and they would want to be on their toes when doing their task the third method is actually getting to know the when where how and what of the side hustle because when you're starting with a side hustle it is important to be very much clear of what you will be starting on when you'll be starting on and on what platform will you be starting on this entire session uh, contained everything about this side hustle uh, that they need to be sure of and in the session fourth they actually i actually gave them a side hustle starter kit use that entire kit and start this side hustle uh, once they actually completed this entire kit regarding with perfecting a right mindset to the end where they could actually where they could actually start a side hustle so that is the journey that i provided uh, them and uh, this that's how i actually crafted the entire course outline now what you need to do is uh, register your beta clients what you can go do is you can go on your instagram account or your uh, youtube channel if you have uh, and ask that you are opening the enrollments for your beta testing and then you are also inviting applicants for uh, the live beta course and there you can actually register you can actually link a google form in your bio and actually if tell people if they are interested they would reach out, reach out to you in the dms or they can actually fill that fill that questionnaire if they want now that you have actually registered the beta clients now it is time to actually provide the entire particular experience what i did was i actually conducted this entire session on google meet and uh, i mailed the instruments that were required through mails and, and this was my minimum viable uh, service experience that i had given to my beta clients because uh, when you are actually starting out or doing any kind of beta testing it is best to actually use free resources available on the internet to exp to deliver your service because only then you can know that you would want to invest in those uh, expensive softwares so guys never invest in softwares early on and always use free mediums for actually validating your uh, idea now that you have actually delivered the entire session let's say uh, a one month uh, period of like four sessions now it is time to actually ask for feedback and uh, testimonial so these two things can actually so this thing can actually help you with a lot of things first is actually the feedback will help you actually rework on your particular entire course outline because uh, people will give you insights people will give you perspective and if you inculcate them your customers insights uh, then actually you're actually creating a product for them and uh, based on their uh, requirement put testimonials on your instagram on your youtube on your website and you can use uh, testimonials that okay you have actually helped people to start a side hustle or you have actually helped people to actually get their first client maybe so uh, that is what you want to do so this way you can actually validate your entire idea of your side hustle and this way you can actually get a full proof of clarity of what you want to do in your uh, side hustle the four methods which you can use to actually uh, validate your side hustle idea and that was it for this video guys thank you so much for watching this video till the very end and i will see you with another video very soon till then bye bye